Hi, I'm Hector Garcia, and I want to show you a trick that I learned the other day, which is how to take a table that has a whole bunch of data, pick one of the columns, one of the data fields, and create a whole bunch of different sheets or worksheets that belong to that particular group of that column. Now, it will be easier for me to show you some examples for this to make sense, but I guarantee you, you will love this trick, especially if you found yourself doing it, let's call it a long way uh, before. So first, let's start by adding some context into this, by just kind of showing you how I've done this type of work before. So before I show you this shortcut per se, which I'll show you at the very end, but let me show you how I normally did this. So the way we normally did this, is we select the entire table and then we'll do a sort. We'll click on sort and filter and maybe sort A through Z. Or, and if you have to specifically choose the column, you click on custom sort and then you pick which is the column that you want to sort by. In this case, it is type, the one that I want. So I'll start with that, hit OK, and there it is. Now that you see them all sorted by type. And what I want to do is I want to take create a table for each one. So normally what, what most people do is they're kind of in my same position is they would copy uh, all the data that's up to uh, the last a row per se that contains that field. So right there, see how there's a change in there. Uh, hit copy, in this case, I hit control C, come into uh, create a new sheet and then uh, paste. That's one of the most common things to do. People just come in and paste the information in there. That's like the most common way. The problem is that now I have to um, keep track of basically what I copy and paste it, or I, I probably would have done a cut and paste, but then I would have a problem with my header so I can only cut the inside part but not the paste it just gets uh, really messy but you can go this route certainly a lot of folks go this route the other route that people go is they'll create a, a filter first so they'll do a filter so they'll click on data and create uh, and click on filter and then they'll hit the drop down menu here and then only select a particular group so let's say for example this bill payments check just select that one hit okay and then it will be just these and then they copy the whole table and create a new sheet right click paste values that's typically the best thing to do when you're pasting a filter table and this actually this is certainly a lot faster so i can come back here change to the next filter hit okay copy the whole thing so control c create a new sheet, and then right click, paste values, okay? And then I have to sit here and, and label each of these. So I have to put here check, and then put here payment, and then come in here and put bill, whatever it happens to be. So that's another route you can do. Uh, many folks do that. I've been doing this for years. So I'm gonna show you an alternative route for this. So I'm gonna uh, come in here, I'm gonna remove this filter real quick go back to uh, select all or just click clear filter. So I'm back to my full data table and then I'm going to create a pivot table. So I'm going to click on insert pivot table and then I'll just click OK. And then in the pivot table uh, uh, sheet, I'm going to recreate that table sort of in the same order of the columns. And all I have to do is drag each of these to rows. So I just come in here and just drag them down to rows. So it's really that simple. Drag down, drag down. You see me dragging them all down in order. Okay, and you can obviously, if you if you want less information, if you don't want some of those columns, you certainly can do that. Um, in Excel 2016 in particular, uh, whenever you drag a date into a pivot table, you'll create a grouping. So that, that month's uh, column, which doesn't exist on the original data file notice that i don't have any months a column that one was automatically created by excel 2016 uh, pivot table so i'm going to go ahead and uncheck that so i just want to avoid any confusion there and then the table really doesn't look the way i want it to look so we're going to kind of get there so let me go into uh, pivot table design and then i'm going to click on subtotals do not show subtotals grand totals off Report layout, we're gonna do tabular form, and we're gonna click on report layout again, and we're gonna click on repeat all items. Okay, that'll make it look a lot more like a table. Blank rows, 
we're gonna do no uh, remove all the blank lines actually okay then I can come in here I can try to make this look um, you know more like the table so I'm just gonna compare them it looks a lot like it now there's some formatting because pivot tables by default do some formatting but I can click on design up here and then I can scroll all the way down to the first style which is kind of like a no non style so I can click on that and that yeah that looks a lot more like the like the original table let me just click back there that looks a lot more like the original table so I kind of kind of get you there I mean there's a couple of things that I uh, want you to know uh, you could do with the pivot table under the same theme of creating the different sheets I can actually uh, collapse uh, the top category here under type let me go back to analyze for a second so we can see the expand and the collapse button so if I click on collapse here and once I have more collapsed I can actually just see my categories pretty plain and simple there now let's take this one step further and what we're gonna do is we're gonna move um, I'm just gonna expand it again just so you can see that's the full data set but I'm gonna keep them collapsed for a second and I'm gonna come down here and then I'm gonna take the amount I'm gonna move it over to the value section and the purpose of that is I want the pivot table to now start calculating and then once it is calculating it behaves a little bit different which I'll show you in a second so I'm gonna move that over to the value section and now we're gonna see a summation of the totals but what's important about this is that if I double click on any of these amounts so for example here under credit if I double click on this amount it'll create a new sheet for me see here in the bottom and it automatically creates that separate sheet so I can call this one uh, credit or whatever Okay, so that's actually um, kind of like a shortcut. That's not the ultimate shortcut that I, that I promised you at the beginning, but that is one. And let's go back to the sheet real quick. If we go to one that has a lot of transactions, like this one called invoice, and I double click on that, notice it again, it creates a brand new sheet. Um, and I can come in here and type uh, invoice, and that works. So if I'm still kind of working just with like 10 or 12 uh, different items to create, this would be probably the fastest way to go because it creates them for you automatically. But what I want to show you is kind of a hidden feature that Excel has, which it could sort of automate uh, most of these things for you. So I'm going to close this one and open it up again. And I'm working uh, on the same uh, sheet here. And let's go through the process, uh, same process as before. So I'm going to click on insert, pivot table, hit OK. And then I'm going to bring type over here to the filter section so I'm moving it to a different place and putting it under filters and you will notice up here under options there's something called show report filter pages when I click on that it's gonna ask you well what should I filter by and then you just select on type and hit OK and it will create a whole bunch of uh, sheets for me notice for each one the problem is that in none of these sheets, we, we, we added the actual fields that we wanted. So uh, just to kind of uh, go back to that in a second, and then starting over one more time so you can follow now the process from start to finish, we're going to go to insert, pivot table, hit OK. We'll bring in type over to the top where it says filters. We'll bring the amount or whatever that numerical calculation number is down to values, and then we'll bring in all the other uh, fields down to rows so I'm dragging them down just like I did the first time I was doing the demo the only difference is that I put now type under filters and I make sure that there was a value calculation there so we can do that um, that summation okay so that's really all I have to do I'm gonna get rid of this months one again because that, that one uh, it's not adding any value for this particular table and then I'm gonna format it real quick so again subtotals do not show grand totals off report layout tabular report layout uh, repeat items blank rows remove and then I'll go back and add the formatting that I want again it could be whatever formatting you want so I'm gonna leave it in blank a lot of folks like that blank and really that's it and then I'm gonna go back to that place that I'm showing you options not options the button but options the little triangle drop down options show report filter pages I'll click on that select type which is the one that we're going to create the categories for i'm going to hit ok and what i want you to do is i want you to focus on this part of the screen as soon as i hit ok uh, focus on this part of the screen because it's going to show you now the creation of all those tables so i'm going to click ok 
and then I'll just lay down and relax and kind of wait for it. Oh, it's done already. Okay. So I'm going to click on each one. See, I'm going to click on credit, credit card charge, credit memo, deposit, general journal, inventory, invoice. It creates each of the data sets for that particular filter as a different tab. Now I can't tell you how many times I've had to do this exercise of having to extract data from the tables and create different sheets for whatever purpose or context. So if you've ever done it before and you didn't know you could do this, hope uh, that would be that's a nice little surprise, something new that you learned today. Anyway, if you like that, please hit like and add some comments below if you have some questions. And I don't do a lot of Excel videos. Most of mine are about accounting and QuickBooks. But if there are other Excel videos that you would enjoy from me doing, put the comments below. That helps me to know what direction I should go with my Excel videos. Thank you.